My name is Jason, I'm the general manager of Noble Hops, so I see what goes on there every day. <laughs> uh, in regards to the parking situation here, this as a lot gets used to its fullest, especially at peak hours on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, with the removal of this as a parking option here, sure we get the benefit of 17 new tenants, but then you know, that's a capped amount of people who can come and visit us. It doesn't scale. People come and visit us from all over the Northwest. Um, it's also a safety issue. We have lots of, you know, more advanced age folks in our community. We have lots of folks with young families, small children. Um, walking farther is not necessarily a uh, reasonable option for a lot of these folks. Uh, I know, talking to Suzanne back when the place first opened, before the lot was here, uh, people were parking across the street, Lambert especially now is a very busy street, uh, people crossing unsafely. Um, I think it's a huge risk to public safety to be encouraging that, again, to not have a solution for the parking. Uh, whether it was temporary or not, it's been vital to the business here. And I think, uh, is there any proposed solution? Thank you. All right, so. At this point, again, we've checked all our parking counts. They all work for the city. We have more than required. However, the site has been available for years. It could be used if somebody would like to purchase it for parking. That's fine. But nobody's purchasing it. No one's using it for for our benefit, but we're the landowners, so what we're basically doing is taking on the liability of customers going to buy stuff with no benefit to us. We just did the parking lot to help ease the problem for a little while. So now, it's our site. We're really just trying to develop the site. And we understand it's convenient, but there's nothing in the ordinance that requires that it be convenient to park and walk to a store, except for handicap access. Other than that, it's still a parcel that's been intended to be developed. We're like, we're like, we're like. I'm one of the owners of Noble Hops. And as you know, Noble Hops is a locally owned family run restaurant. We opened May 13th of 2011. And when we moved to Noble Hops, when we opened, it was a ghost town. Right? For those of you who have been around, that center was dead. There was nobody, there was maybe two tenants and over time and we didn't have a parking problem to start with but people were parking up at the big five until they put up towing signs that big five has been sold at this point and i talked to the owner today and they will not allow parking there because their tenant that they're renting it to will need it so i started working with the Michigan landlords eight and a half years ago and said, we have a parking problem. And they worked with me, they said, okay, let the employees park in the apartment complex. That was a good solution because that got about 20 cars off of the parking area. Well, then as more tenants were coming, which was good for the center, there was less parking. And there were, parking was such a severe problem that people were telling me they were parking at the prize and crossing. Now, that's a liability issue for the landlord or the town. And for me, not on the way crossing over to CS, but certainly crossing on the way back. And the property manager at the time said, all right, we've got to come up with a, a good solution because this is dangerous and we need to be able to accommodate all of the tenants <clears throat> traffic. That's why they use, they designated that lot to use as parking. They never said we're gonna do it forever. And, and I get that. I mean, I'm a business owner and I get that it's not a good use of that space. The problem is there's no solution for the parking problem and that, I think, is a town issue. I know because this is under the um, Alpine Keys plan, there doesn't have to be 
the designated park and there would be in other areas. But it concerns me. Yes, it'll impact my business, but it concerns me for my guests because there's just not enough parking. And I don't, I've, I've gone through this for, I did went through this eight years ago and there wasn't a good solution except for that parking lot. Except for that lot. So. I just wanted to touch base one more time back to the parking situation. It's not just about parking for us. Now there's more businesses, small businesses, locally owned businesses in the shopping center than there have ever been. And the parking situation absolutely affects them, not just in this shopping center, but also the shopping center across the street for the Floridas, and uh, now just for Bob, also two restaurants that people drive in from all over town to go visit. So I can, I'm not going to cross you yourself or nothing. Well, I, 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 I understand your situation and what your liabilities are and responsibilities are, but I'm just trying to put the situation in the frame of what the reality of this is for those of us who live, visit, and work in downtown. I understand that, but I, I have to give a little pushback when we start taking all the problems of the area, attaching it to this plan, and creating that set of angst. We have, we've got we're the problems on our site. We're going to start with you because you obviously need the most. Compared to everyone else, and we'll try and work through this. 